When I lost, it struck very, very hard. I was, I was depressed. I was very angry at the world. This is Jonathan Aguilar for Pro Boxing Fans, joined by the savage Alan Babich. Good to see you again. Uh, Alan, how are you? Very good. You just said you didn't see him for a long time, and that's good, because I wanted to come back one month after the fight, but it would be terrible, it would be disaster. So I'm happy my team didn't allow me to fight. So now I'm fully ready, I'm most ready than I ever was in my life. You know, so it's perfect, perfectly done. I remember years ago uh, you told me that you don't care about losing. You, you want to feel sort of, you know, the feeling of, of being in a tough fight and, and losing. So when the fight happened, how, how did it affect you? Oh, <laughs> I said I didn't care. And I was wrong. You know, it was terrible. Listen, Floyd Meritor did this thing when everybody have to have their zero. I didn't believe in it, but when I lost, it struck very, very hard. I was, I was depressed. I was very angry at the world, the everybody, and uh, I care about it now. You know, so I don't want to lose anymore. So I, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> I had my loss. I'm good. Savage is good now. During that period, what kept you going? Was it the support of uh, your family and friends and stuff? It was purely because I'm a sportsman. I'm an athlete my whole life. I said I trained since I'm six years old, and I love boxing more than I love myself, literally. So the combination of the two, it just I couldn't. Just picking it up with Alan Babic. Uh, Alan, just tell me though, uh, we've talked about the loss, but what, what did you learn from that about yourself and, and going forward in your career? Well, I learned that uh, how am I uh, acting in the toughest situations in life. I always said I was tough, but this really tested me. This tested my every, every single sparring. I started sparring maybe one week after the fight. And every single sparring for the last one year was uh, was terrible. I was getting beat up every single day. So it came to the point where I thought I, I was going mad. I, I was just walking on a treadmill. I, I thought I was falling down. So I was really starting to feel the, all the sparring. But that was all in my head. I went to my doctor and they checked me thoroughly and they say everything is perfect so my head was really playing games and at the moment when i realized my head was doing all the problems it just went away i defeated it you know and uh, you move your, your training camp to ireland uh, how are you finding it down there well again uh, irrational decision by seven just one day i told my wife tomorrow i'm going to ireland i don't have a fight schedule don't have anything i didn't have all of this so I just said I'm going. She said why? I said I don't know. I just know I have to go. And I went to Ireland and I found my second family there. My boxing family which I lost. I lost my boxing family. Uh, and uh, I found it. I found it and I'm just so happy about it. And uh, Steve Robinson is the opponent uh, Saturday night. We know what he brings. We know what you bring. Uh, is this going to be a war on Sunday night rather? It's going to be a really fun fight for every Joe to look at. I don't think we'll see too much of boxing. We just want to <laughs> tear each other's head off. And I like that kind of fight. I think people, that's why the people love me. I love the savage. You know, this is not a high level fight. This is way below my level fight. I fought for the championship in my last fight. So I'm going to address it like that. You know? I want to do it as a fun fight. Let's go have fun. Uh, are people going to, can we expect a Savage 2.0 on Sunday? Is there going to be any differences in your style? It's going to be much heavier, Savage. I'm heavier than ever. And uh, I think uh, Pascal gave me some of the old Irish boxing, you know, style. And I think we're going to do, I think it's going to be a beautiful knockout. That's all I can say. And uh, is the plan to stay here at heavyweight? Maybe look at that Hergovic fight again. We all talked about that for years. So when I get back, Everybody will hear me. Everybody will hear me, and oh, the whole world will know the savage is back. I just need to get back. Well, this fight is it. So, it literally, in two days, my life returns to me. So, from then on, I'm at the uh, at the fate of my fans. You know. Uh, just two quick ones, and I'll let you go. Uh, Tyson Fury, Alexander Usyk. You spar Tyson Fury. Uh, don't think you sparred Usyk, but how do you think the fight's going to play out? A tremendous fight. I would lo love to see it. You know, but Fury sometimes comes in shape, sometimes comes out of shape. So if he comes out of shape, it's going to be very, very tough fight for him. If he comes in shape, I think it's going to be a tough fight for Usyk. So 
you see, you never know with Yuri. <laughs> you know with Usyk, he's going to be 100%, but you never know with Yuri. Yeah. And, uh, how do you think a Joshua Fury fight would, would play out? Joshua Fury? Yeah. Well, right now, as everybody, I think Joshua would probably snatch it. But uh, before that, for five years, I thought Fury would win. So, like I said, you never know with Fury. It's all up to him. Alan Babbage, appreciate your time. Uh, good to see you. Just send a message to the fans and, uh, yeah, how excited are you to hear the O2 crowd uh, singing your name on, on Sunday? Listen to me, Savage Armada. I'm coming back. I'm coming back. Don't tell him. Don't tell him. I told you I'm going to make a tremendous knockout. It's going to be crazy. Alan, appreciate it.